Hello. Hello, hello. How we doing? Lumberjack Digger. Hey, how you two doing today? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Getting through the week here. Lumberjacks, you're the legend. You're the legend, Lumberjacks. That's you, not me. Just going to run it back here to get some more testing in. We're testing right now for MXP in San Francisco coming up next week. So I think I'm pretty set on this list. I don't think I, I want to make any drastic changes unless some random deck pops up within the we, the next week with the um, the release of the, the pre-release. Uh, I don't I don't know if it's going to shake up the format. Right As of right now, I think people are pretty okay. I don't think there's anything that's really going to be shaking up the format besides maybe the Jace. If people find a way to like break the Jace and do some broken stuff with him, you know, we'll see what happens. But as of right now, I think everything's going to be pretty fine for this, the, the new Satoru card, which people are talking about playing an Esper. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty confident with this list right now. Game number one here. Did we win the die roll? I don't know. It, it disappeared. We did not win the die roll. We're going to be on the draw. It's okay. Versus Nap, Dark Mage. Hand's pretty good. We're going to keep it. If you like your hand, you keep it. Opponent is mulling to six. Okay. Moving Marsh. Oh. A little bit of a mirror match here. Okay. I like having the Haywire Might to answer a Cauldron, potentially, that they could have. Uh, they didn't go for a Dork on turn one either, so it's kind of it's going to slow them down a little bit as well. So hopefully our hand's going to be fast enough. Uh, the Mortuary makes it kind of awkward, so we'll see what they do here. Probably going to go for a wall, I would imagine. Hopefully not wall into Young Wolf number two. That'd be pretty bad. Okay. So that's fine. Okay, we drew a wall of our own. That's pretty good. We can go our wall, and then we can hold up Bowmasters on their turn. Does make it a little awkward because we can only use the Gilded Goose mana, but even if we... Oh, it's awkward. Yeah, because then we can't play Yogmoth next turn. Dang it. If I use the food here. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see what they do on their turn. If they go for a Yogmoth, it's actually not the worst because they're not going to have much on board to do anything with. So we'll see what they do. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to do something this whole day, and I forgot what I was going to do, but I remember now. I need to start double sleeving my Pioneer deck. Okay, Delighted Halfling, that's fine. So this makes me think that they have a Cord. Ooh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods, you got it. So, let's think here. I could flash in a Bowmasters now, but then we... Can't guarantee Yawgmoth hitting the uh, battlefield. They're going to hold up a cord for two. So I think it's probably better if I just play... I think we play... We go to our turn here. This is the awkward part about Goose, right? Ooh, well, I like that very much. So I think we're just going to play Yawgmoth here. And I'm going to try to draw into an untapped black source. That's an untapped black source. Uh, this is instant speed, though. Mm. I think I just have to kill this thing. Okay, that's good. Wolf. Hey, Fesky. Hello, hello. How you doing? I'm feeling pretty good here. I don't think we need to be sacking anything. I could, like, suicide my young wolf to take out their halfling, but I feel like if they had a yog, they probably would have played it last turn. Mortuary, you got it. What do you put in the graveyard? Nothing. Ooh, you like that one. Ooh, do you have a yog moth or do you have a grist? Oh, okay, there's a yog moth. There might be a shield rid. It is a yog moth, okay. My target here, sacrifice here.
I mean, having three Bowmasters is kind of nice. Probably going to go for... Ooh. Let's see. I might go for Cauldron next turn and then exile the Wall of Roots, and then that way I can hold up Bowmasters. We'll see. See what we draw. Well, that changes the game, doesn't it? That does indeed change the game. If you hold on to Twilight Mire and put a counter on Yogg, you can double Bowmasters. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. But this Grist. This Grist do be looking kind of good though. Mm, it's kind of awkward with us only having the Mortuary. We have to sa sacrifice our Young Wolf. I really don't want to let them on tap here, though. So weird, y'all can only look at each other. Yeah, they're just staring content. <laughs> uh, play Grist here. I have down tick. I make them respond. And then they sack Young Wolf. I think I like that. Let's play Grist. Probably going to draw a card or two. Ooh, they have a cord for one. Mm. Okay. That's good. They're going to refill their hand here. That's going to be pretty bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we might just be dead here. Hmm. If we're not dead when we let pass the turn, I'm going to be very surprised. They're still digging. Okay. Guess I'll leave that on top. Most likely dead here, though. Okay. That's not dead. Really? Okay. I think I think I'd take out Argrist, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm. Apparently... I mean, I have a feeling they have a Yogg in hand. Maybe they wanted to... I don't know. Maybe they, did have... they drew the thing. I don't know. Interesting. So then, what's our play here? Like, I can play Cauldron. I can Exile. 
Maybe I just play Bowmasters. They did they did discard the Haywire Might. Maybe I play Cauldron and I play Bowmasters, but I don't activate. Hmm, it's kind of tricky. Kind of tricky, kind of tricky. I could double Bowmaster, just take out one of the young wolves. Take out this one. That doesn't seem too good. I could play Soul Cauldron. Play Bowmaster. Hmm. I don't want to take out the Grist to not let them get an activation. Yeah, I'll take out the Grist right now. Interesting spot. I'm keeping out the Soul Cauldron here so they can't just straight up combo kill us. Put wall in your country could play out my I could have done that, but I am I do want to be wary of them like just naturally having the combo here. There's Zulaport, sure. Wall of Roots, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They do have a cord for Yogmoth here if they have it. But they cannot go for the combo. Okay. Noble, yep. Still have a cord up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Uh, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now they only have a cord up for six. I will attempt to eat their Yogmoth. Put it on our Bowman. Okay, that resolved. Huh. What a weird game. So, I think I just play out the queen here. Target here, sacrifice here. That's fine. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, I could start, I could now exile their Grist and, like, start plussing. This is so weird. I mean, they don't have the thing anymore, right? So I think we're fine. So I'm going to go for the Grist here. Put it on the Queen. Play out 
forest. I think I'm going to run out the haywire mite just so we can gain some life here. Target here, sacrifice here. Always yield. Endurance, okay. It's plus here. Target here, sacrifice here. Just want to be careful of our life total in case they have a shield rid. So... Strange. Okay, uh, I think we're going to just leave it like this. Pass it back to them. We are at four. We do need to be careful. Okay. They do have a cord. This could be a cord for a shield rid. I think I can just kill them through a shield rid. I mean, this is fine. They got a Yawgmoth, interesting. I will flash in another Bowmasters. Um, I could target their Yawgmoth here, or I could just target them. I'm just going to target them. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Target here. Target here. Hey, Joaquin! Hello, hello, how you doing? Oh, cool cluster. Hey, 94, thank you for the follow, I appreciate you. I think they're just dead. Yeah, they're dead. Right? Oh, no, they go to one. Pog. Hey, okay. Ooh, very nice. Squeezing out that game one there. One second, I am getting a text from work. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Hey, we win. <laughs> hey, how do you win the Yogg Mirror? You just go to sideboarding, and then uh, they can see. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Game number two here. Did we win the die roll? Yes, we won the die roll. Take play first. Boom, yes, always. What do we got? Giganta. Uh, on the blind, uh, I feel like this hand is fine enough to keep. We're going to try it. Keep. It's a, we're against Giganta, so if we're against Domain too, then this is actually really good because we have Haywire Might. No Guild Pact if they are playing. Uh... Oh. Hey, Snorks420, hey, thank you for the follow, I appreciate you. Scalding Tarn, okay. Fetch, you got it. Being bent, goodbye halfling. Oh, prowess. Um, so they could have a free spell here, uh, so I am not going to block. I'll take the one. They could have a, a mutagenic growth or something. I do not like that. Young Wolf is definitely a solid draw. So I think I'm going to save this. We'll save this for Bowmasters. We're just going to play out the Wall of Roots, play out Young Wolf. Is there a Discord for Yogg player? Yes, there is. Let me get that for you. So we kind of just share, um... <laughs> Tom Ross's Discord server, and that's that's kind of just become the home for Yogmoth, uh, the Yogmoth Discord. Let me get the link for you. Copy, DRC. That's fine. Other DRC, you got it.
Boabo. Uh, I'm going to respond here. So they could have a um, mutagenic growth here, but I still want to be able to deal with these DRCs before they get delirium. And if they do have mutagenic growth here, they have to save their DRC instead of using it to deal damage to us. They do have it. We actually use a queen for yog combo. Many super viable minus one minus one counter card, beginning the body from the first abilities rate. There are a lot of creature tutors from Mothman. Oh yeah, like I, I think well because the what should call it the the minus one minus one counter thing was only a oh my god they have delirium oh no no okay that's a that mutagen group um it was like only in the Amonkhet block right so it's not there's not that much support for it but there should be in time. Big fan of Mister B. Hey. Thank you. I'm a big fan of you. Hey, thanks for coming by. Michael Bobble. Well, they can't really crack that. I will block. Yogmoth, please. It's kind of like a Yogmoth. So I could let them. Hmm. Interesting. If I play out this, I can't play out... I could use the mana from here. One, two, three. Yeah, I, can. That's, I think that's fine. Question is if I want to uptick or downtick. Oh, if I downtick, they're going to get Delirium if they put the thing in the graveyard. So I think I'm going to uptick here. No! <clears throat> Grist. Okay, fine. It's fine. Uh, I'll get in for two. DRC number three, you got it. It's cool that I got top deck cauldron. I hope, dude. Uh, oh, so this is gonna give them delirium. So I mean, they're gonna get delirium no matter what because I'm killing a creature here. But oh well. Gotta stop the, stop the bleeding somehow. Lava dart. Ew. Yep. I think I'm just gonna send it at them. Both of the targets. Mm. They're thinking about this one. Oh, they were holding priority that whole time? Oh my gosh. I'm going to kill one of my Bowmasters, sure. Hold on one second. Yay. Cool. Uh, yeah, this is just going to go upstairs. They kept one top, one bottom. Prowess is not the easiest matchup. What's up, media? I saw my own 
I swear my notification read everywhere. Oh, gifted Goonie, hello, hello. Well, you're here, aren't you? That's fine. Capital G wrist, taking one for the team. They did draw a land. They're bobbling us, sure. That means they have something for the Bowmaster? No. Apparently not. What do we got? The Queen! Okay. Alright. Gris, do not mill over another Yawgmoth here, please. Thank you. So I can just attack with a 4-4 four -four here. Get him for the damage. I think they have to block this. Hmm. Um, is it weird that I want to take out the Swift Spear? Take out the Swift Spear so then they have to attack. And then I think I can kill them. I think I like that. I'm going to float a mana here, play out Haywire Might. We're going to play out the queen. We'll pass turn. So if they don't have a creature next turn, we can really deal a lot of damage to them here. Potentially kill them. Expressive. Oh, seek the beast. You got it. Lava dart. It's pretty good. Though we can save one of our creatures if they try to lava dart something. Lightning bolt and another lava dart. Oh! Depizzle91. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. So on the crackback, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll have exactly. You have to attack opponent. He Cool. I'll take it. Thank you for the good boss. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. Land. Ooh, shocking. Oh, they're going to try to kill off things with a lightning, with the lava dart. Understandable. Okay, so we might not kill them next turn, but we will kill them the following turn. They're bolting the Hapachra. Mm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight damage. Oh, wait, they have, they're, at, they're at seven. Okay, cool. I think they're just dead here. Because they do, they have a lava dart in the graveyard, but I can just be proactive. I, I have lethal even without Pendlehaven activation, so Bobble, sure. Bobble who? Bobble me or Bobble you? Ooh, Lava Dart. Okay, what are you targeting? I have a Pendlehaven in play. Oh, they might be trying... Oh, they found another one. Okay, well. I should have done that in response to the Surveil. It's my bad. At least I have to make them sack another mountain. They're looking at my top card. Is it a good one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, nice. Woo, got there. Even if they do kill the Orcish Bowmaster with the other flashback, they're still dead with the Pendlehaven activation. Cool, cool. Prowies. We're going to bring in these. 
Uh, if you expect them to... Oh, I bring in one endurance too, that's fine. Take out one uh, halfling, one cauldron, and then two grist. Bring in these. Marcuyo, hey, hello, hello. How you doing? Oh. Marcu, I, I apologize if I botched your name. Marcusio, Marcusio. I think I'm saying that right. Um, this looks okay. We have chump blockers. Do we need to draw into a land? So spear, you got it. Wobble. Is it a good one, opponent? Oh, I have another one. Okay. You know what? I didn't even want three life. I didn't want it. You can take it. Oh, well, excellent draw. Very nice. Play out the youngest wolf. Young wolf, go get him. Marcucho. Marcucho? The eye at the end is silent? I don't, you don't say the eye at the end? Marcucho. Hey, okay, nice, nice. They're fetching, okay. Hello from Italy. Well, hello from the United States of America. Very nice to meet you. Preordained, sure. This young wolf is blocking. 100%. I need to go to Italy someday. How close is Italy to Portugal? Probably far. Italy map. Ah, it's like two continents over. That's uh, like, it's not that bad because it's pretty small over there. Sam looks decent. I, I would say the same thing. Haywire mine. That's good. I think I'm okay to attack with this young wolf and then we can block with the wall of roots and the other young wolf. Oops. I just wanted to thank you to make me discover how funny Yogmoth deck is. Hey, I'm super happy to hear that. I'm glad that you can have a fun time with a very fun deck. I, I think the deck is very fun too. Also very funny. There's a lot of funny moments with the deck. <laughs> Expressive iteration, sure. I want to visit Murano and see the glass art. Yeah, that sounds cool. I don't know what that is, but that sounds cool. Soul Scar Mage has entered the exile zone. That's fine. Uh, I think I will not block with my wall here. I'll take the risk. I'll summon a land on top. Oh, thank you. Give, thank you. Thank you. Uh, black, black land, right? Black source. Oh. Goonie. Thank you very much. <laughs> A little bit awkward here. Still fine. It's close to a very beautiful city. Nice. Pithing Needle. Mm. I mean, that's okay. Because we have the Haywire Mipe. Maybe I don't even do anything here. Because we have the Hapatra in hand, so I feel fine like throwing my young wolves at them, right? Uh, I think we, we need to keep the Wall of Roots so we can go Wall of Roots plus Hapatra. I think I'm fine with this. I'm not going to do anything. 
that they need to resolve. Bolt is this going upstairs? We're going out wall of roots. You okay? Interesting choice. And they also have an unholy heat. Then why why even why even name Yogmoth? I don't know. Okay. A little awkward now. I can't even chump block. Huh. I mean I can't even like kill one of them. Take eight, go to four. I think I have to do that. Unless I also just have the mutagenic growth here. Okay. Okay. The shock for some reason. Oh. Well, that's pretty good, but I don't have the mana to get that in play. So then what's my next best play here? Just playing Grist and the next turn hoping to survive. I can play Hapatra and Haywire Might. Gain life with the Haywire Might. I think I would need to play Grist here and then just plus. I'll hit another Grist. Don't worry. No. Almost, almost. I will not attack. They only have one card in hand. They shocked in a stomping ground, which is interesting. They immediately go to combat. They're just going all at me. Okay, so I will block here, block here. So this probably means they have lethal regardless. They have another lightning bolt or something? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Pretty tough. Better be on the play for this one, though. Prowess has always been a pretty difficult matchup. It's not as easy as... Well, I don't want to say easy, but it's not as close as Burn. I think Prowess is definitely favored just because they have so many things that can pick off our stuff. Hey, when people slow roll. It wasn't really a... I, uh, I guess... Yeah, we, I mean, we didn't have anything, so I guess... Ooh, I do like this hand. We're going to keep... Do I want to start with the Mortuary here? No third endurance. I don't think you need third endurance. I think we are okay. Like we, you could, maybe I should, but I think we're okay. Uh, I think I want to play the Mortuary here so I have untapped Black Source, but then I can't play my wall. <laughs> yeah, I'll start with the. I'll start with the Halfling. If the Halfling lives, I can play the wall regardless. Of curiosity, now knowing that they had the best for Yogg, would you have activated Yogg in response to the Deedle? Well, in hindsight, yes. Oh, had the heat. Out of curiosity, would you now knowing the out of curiosity? Would you, hold on. Out of curiosity, not now knowing that they had the best for Yogg. The the best, or you mean heat? Oh, had the heat for Yogg. Would you have activated response into the needle? Um, yeah. If I mean, if they had the heat then yes, I would have drawn cards because we would have needed to draw out of that. But I did not know that. Okay, so they bolt that. We do draw the land. I think I want to... Oh, I think I want to unlock my Fatal Push. So I think I'm going to play the Mortuary this turn. I'm going to keep that on top. I want to have lands here. Uh, specifically have it another Black Source I think is good. Oh, it's okay. DRC, preordained, sure. So they're going to have Delirium. It'd be annoying. They do keep a card on top.
Blooming Marsh, just play out the Wall of Roots here. Steeds, hey! Hello, hello, how you doing? Sure. You're ordained, you got it. But both on top, it's not good for us. I'm not going to block because we need our wall to survive. I'm going to move to blocks. Turn off auto yields. I'm going to push here. Why is Prowess back so much? I hate it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I couldn't tell you. Another DRC. Yeah. Can I get I can get endurance here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can. I can't do it with Strangle Root, can I? One, two, and then on their turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can. Okay. Why wait so long for the push? Um So my thinking was if they had I guess I wasn't thinking about Fjordain, but if they had anything that they wanted to use surveil, like if they wanted to surveil with the DRC, they most likely would have anyways, because most ninety percent of their spells are instant speed. So I guess I should have just done it on upkeep. But I was also thinking like, oh, what if they play a Swift Spear and they buff the crap out of it, but maybe it was unnecessary. So I have the Strangle Root here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Expressive iteration, you got it. We're going to try to wait and see. We're going to wait for them to go to combat to try to get their DRC with the Endurance. Put a spear in the graveyard, sure. Is the album looping already? I don't think so. It is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's do this one. Soulscar Mage has entered the exile zone. You got it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right, we're going to try to snipe this DRC. If they have an unholy heat, that's fine because we still deal with their delirium so we'll see endurance target Ooh. i will block doesn't feel like opponent is playing around anything lightning bolt you got it Mm. They keep a card on top. Whatever it may be. Wait, what? Oh, they turned my endurance into a minus thing. My okay, I got it. I got it. They don't play no shot, they play counter spells, right? I think I'm just gonna court here for Yogmoth. Yogged Moth. Target here, sacrifice here.
mortuary. Target here, sacrifice here. Cauldron's pretty good. Uh, I think we'll just leave it at that. Pass it back to them. They left a card on top. That's what they left on top. That's a pretty good one. Well, I need to drop a Seiju. Are you here? Sacrifice here. Don't feel like I need to use this right now. I think I'm just going to go fetch for Dried Arbor to draw more cards. All right, come on, opponent. Let me, let me do my game actions, please. Target here, sacrifice here. Okay. Target here, sacrifice here. Another cord. You speak you get shielded with that. Um I think this is fine. I'm gonna I wanna leave my strangle root in play. I'm gonna yield. You got it. Lightning bolt. You have another spell in your hand that you would like to cast on Yogmoth? You have the Lava Dark. You got it. Uh, to prevent damage here, I am going to block the bigger one now. This one's going to die when we go to our turn. Uh, let's play out the Mortuary, see what's on top. I think I actually want that. I'm going to put that on top of the library. Uh, we'll play out the Cauldron, and then we're just going to, we're going to fail push right away. Wait. Sure. I should have eaten this. I mean, it doesn't matter when I eat that. Okay, cool. They let it resolve. They add Gigantha to hand here. Staying alive, somehow. Play that. Play out the Zupa Lord. Uh, I'm going to wait. Because I, I want to activate a Pendlehaven on my Zulaport if they attack. Or if they have something, and then I'll activate Cauldron afterwards. Bobble, sure. Is it a good one, opponent? Please let me know. They can't even tap with Juicy J for the what? And oh, true, true. Uh, they disabled their own Gigantha, dude. What the heck is going on? Do they not know how to build a deck? Do they not know how, what their cards do? Ooh, I should have courted for Bowmasters here. I accidentally clicked through it. Damn it. Okay, I'll take that one. I am going to get on that aggressive here. Do I want to put a counter on this? I think I do. Hey, Charlie Fish MTG. Hello, hello. I'm doing so good. How are you doing? Yep. 
have a land, so they're probably going to play Yagantha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could just court for a shield right here. I think I will do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Big Mama. Get over here, Big Mama. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, hello, Yagmoth. Fortunately, you're not doing much right now, but I'll still play you out because you got the pro humans. Very nice. I can take them off of Delirium. I think I'll do that now while they're tapped out. Put on the Shieldred. Okay, go ahead. Your turn. No need to flash an endurance here. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. I will continue to do nothing. Go ahead, opponent. Draw a card. I know you want to so badly. Oh, the opponent. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> oh, DRC. Laughable. Laughable. You know what, opponent? I feel bad for you, opponent. You know what? I'll help you out. Here you go. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm a dickhead. <laughs> Takanuma, that's fine. We can hold on to that. Just pass the turn here. Do you think Titan Yogg will get hit with a ban anytime soon? I don't think so. I think the format's in a pretty good spot right now. I, I mean, I'm saying that because my deck is good. No. I think there's nothing... Like, is there anything really that problematic in the format? I don't think so. There's nothing really... Nothing really feels super oppressive to play against. There, It, it is true, like, you know... Uh, hold on. Target you. Um, block, 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 and block. Oh, the Leyline Scion, yeah. This is just a desperation swing. I'm blocking incorrectly because I don't really mind if anything happens here. We're pretty locked in. Unholy Heat targeting Monastery Swift Spear. Okay. Hey, okay. Very nice. Woo. Managed to squeak that one out versus Prowis. Uh, if the Sand had another land, it'd be really good. But... On the blind, I don't think we can keep this. Much better, we can keep this. Uh, I think we can throw back Scavenging Ooze. Also, Sunday, what the hell is your opponent's luck? What do you mean? Ooh, Island Aether Vial. Let's get a Surveil going on here. I'll keep that. What do you mean, my opponent's luck in the finals? Do literally nothing. Do literally nothing for two turns and watch the Twitter Spear blow out of the target. I, I didn't tell them to keep that hand. Okay, they kept the hand they wanted to keep. I don't know, dude. Ooh, they drew Odawara. Nice.
tight shaper. Oh, it was four games in a row. I think only one gate did something before turn three. <laughs> hey, I don't. I didn't tell him to keep that hand, dude. That's all I'm saying. So I could just Bowmaster here. I mean, I can't play Yawgmoth now because I don't have a Black Source. So I think I just want to Bowmaster and then go with for Grist the following turn. Mm, Bowmaster is kind of awkward for them. I'll do a Bowmaster. Start off with a Bowmaster. How's the match again? Also, if they have a, uh, a Svel U next turn, it makes it pretty bad for them. How's the match against Control? Pretty good. Uh, I think we're pretty favored versus Control. Like having main deck Haywire, or having the um, having Delighted Halfling, having Grist, uh, having the Cauldron all help a lot versus Control. Mainly the Halfling and Grist that just puts in so much work against Control. Edge Maze. Edging Maze. Botanical Sanctum, sure. Uh, that's Svelyun, cool. If they attack, is it when they attack? Okay. That's indestructible. We did draw land. I think I don't care about this Aether Vial anymore. So I could go for a Grist here to start plussing. I could go for Wall of Roots and then... What can I do with that? I can get a Hapatra in play if it resolves. And then I can go for Yawgmoth the following turn if they don't have a counter spell. Or I could just play Grist and then make them deal with the Grist. And then if they do deal with the Grist, that's fine. Play Wall of Roots here. Play Wall of Roots and then we can have a court up for two and get Hapachra. Or get a Delighted Halfling if we expect them to have a counter spell. I think I want to go for a cord here, actually. So let's go here, here for Wall of Roots, and then just pass the turn. Edging maze, you got it. <laughs> so silly. They put a scalding tarn in the graveyard, you got it. Cenote Scout. Mm -hmm. Master of the Earl Trident. Are you going to leave that on top? They do leave it on top. Oh, they have another one. Okay. Pretty good. So we're not dead here, but we're taking a lot. One, two, three... So that means we're we're fine to just court for Hapatra here. I'm just going to ping them. Always yield. Oh, they have another one. Oh god, Jesus. Five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I mean it's still fine, but it's gonna hurt. Is this the Merfolk combo deck? I don't know, dude. You tell me. So we can get Hapachra here. I think that'll be enough. We can just take out the Spellune and then we can take out the Masters. Oh. Find a float of mana with the Wall of Roots. Hello, Magic Online. Okay, there we go. Let's get the queen here. They have one card in hand. They are tapped out, so we're pretty set to just do our thing. Halfling, sure. So if I draw into another cord, we can win. Let's get the swamp. One, two, three, four. Get Yogi Moth. MPG has been super laggy today. Yeah. I've been feeling it. So we can just target these Felyun and then we can deal with the rest of the things. Hapatra's cool. We might still be dead because I don't have enough life to do. We have to draw into a, a cord, I think, here.
three. Hmm. Yeah, I think we we are actually just dead unless I draw into a cord. Damn. Yeah, not did not get there. Anything else I can do? No. Okay, well, them having three lords, but the next one was coming next turn is pretty, pretty brutal. It's okay. Take out two grist. Take out one cauldron. Take out one wall. Take out one endurance and then we go two endurance oh no, no that's wrong wrong one we go one force uh, two fatal push legions end and rex age i believe yeah the rare merfolk versus yog hey sometimes they can get there you know it's not a deck to be underestimated Sometimes you, you, I mean, we have all these great blockers, but they can't block if we have an island. The reach on endurance is no good. What is the reach on endurance going to do here versus Merfolk? Oh, <laughs> they can reach above the island. <laughs> um, his hand's pretty slow. It doesn't have a Yawgmoth. I think I'm going to throw this back. This is kind of better. Ugh. Still not the best, but I think kind of have to rock with this. Hopefully get an insane hit for the cauldron. I would go to five. I could, uh, I would also, I could see that. But I also have Haywire Might that to take out the Vile, which is why I was thinking about keeping this hand. Ew. Yeah. Putting that one on top. Would you go to five now, Goonie? Hmm? I knew it was there. I knew it was going to be there. It's an okay. You got it. Tide Shaper, you got it. <laughs> They could have a subtlety here, which would suck, but oh well. Okay. Just going to pass turn to them. Not going to do anything at this moment in time. Interesting. Um... Don't really care about that, do I? I mean, I guess I do. I want to hold on to it just in case they have a, a cursed totem. So I guess I'll hold on to that. Um, I guess I will start with the Zulaport. They could have a counter spell here. I don't really care if they do. Cool. Um, do I need to play the thing now? I think I will to be mana efficient. Tasha's. You mean Tashana? Yes, I get what you mean. That's fine. If they're going to hold on to a sh Tashana the entire time, that's fine. We can play around that. We keep it on top.
to keep it on top and they do nothing. I will also do nothing. Oh, well, you don't say. Hello, hello. The youngest wolf. And I will do nothing. Go ahead, opponent. It is your turn. Your move, as they say. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get the Tishana's Tidebinder here so we can deal with it. We're going to target here, sacrifice here. By the time I figured out how to spell correct, the game action would have already happened. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, okay. I'll go to my turn. I will play out... Like, the game, do I need to worry about proliferate? No, I think I'm going to play this out now. I'll play out the Halfling first, and I'll play out the Young Wolf. Go ahead, opponent. Lord of Atlantis, you got it. We're just chilling. We're just chilling, baby. All right, now I'm going to try to get them to do it. I don't know why they're holding... Like, the more bodies I get in play, the harder it is gonna, it's going to be for them to get the the person in play. I guess I should have done it with the Lord of Atlantis on the stack. But it's fine. Oi. Shauna's tide binder. Sure, what are you tide binding? The young wolf activation, maybe? Oh, they are. Sure. You got it. I'll draw a card. Always yield. Target here, sacrifice here. Target here, sacrifice here. We could just kill them. I'm doing this at end step, so okay, nice. They surrender. I was doing this at end step so my young wolf could would have a counter when I untap. Cool, we just run it back. Eh. One lander, we cannot keep this. I'll throw this one back. Ugh, another one lander, but... I think we keep this one? Oh man, I don't know. Crazy how expensive the deck is online. I think I'm gonna keep this. Man, it's just so weird. The keep it throwback young wolf. Just in case they have a cursed totem. I'm keeping the reclamation sage. Yeah. That's I use a renting service. I will have a land on top of my library. Please and thank you. They reveal an aether vial. Do you want that? They put it in the graveyard. Okay. Land, 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 land. We're good. We were always good. I knew we were good the whole time. My number is five today. Well, like, as in mulling. Master, sure. I'll take three. Cool. 
play out the wall of roots here and then pass the turn. Really? Okay. So this could mean that they have the Flash Lord in their hand. I'm going to ping there. If they have a Tide Binder, I'm really happy that they, that they use a Tide Binder here. Always yield. Uh, I guess to play around them having a Lord, I'm going to uh, double block here. Oh. That's okay. So I think we're just going to flam the queen. Could have a subtlety here. No, okay, cool. Could have a dismember here. I hope not. I feel like they have a tide binder with the way that they were pausing, which is kind of okay because then they have to use the tide binder on their turn. Oof. Always yield. Oh, no tight binder. Interesting. Okay. Yield until next end step. Tap toad evening. I wonder if MH3. Really? You're going to do it, my fetch land, dude? Okay, whatever. I don't. Do you see how much bet I have in play? You got. Oh, you got me. You got my fetch land, dude. Okay. I love it. Thank you. Tap out Evening, I wonder if MH3 is going to do anything to tribal decks. I'm hoping to bust out my Plague Engineers again. I think they will. I think um, Mortuary is good here. Uh, I think there's going to be... I'm going to keep that on top. There, I think there should be some uh, support for tribal. Uh, I'm going to play out the Cauldron here. Price of progress, no shot. That's no. There's no shot that happens. I'm gonna eat the uh, thing right now to play around second tide binder. I'm gonna put it on my shield rid to play around dismember. This is gonna be three for five damage. I'm swinging in for five. One, three. Uh, I think this is fine. I think I'm gonna outrace them. Unless they have another Tide Binder. No Tide Binder. Price of Progress would actually make like the whole format change. It would be it would be crazy. Oh. Master, you got it. Curse Totem, you got it. I didn't even want my Wall of Roots anyway. I didn't even want that card. Unfortunately, I can't play out Rex Sage and then also hold up Fatal Push because I need black mana. So if I attack here and then they block, and then this just goes back down. Yeah, I can just blow them out here. Nice to see we are 2-0 and over the first and second round. First and second round, first round was the Mirror, and then second round was Prowess. Oh, opponent. Oh, opponent. I'm so very sorry. Unless they have exactly Force of Negation here. Okay. I want three things. Three things. Green Sun Zenith unbanned and good utility lands. And Titan bans so these two can thrive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they unban Green Sun Zenith, there's no way they can <laughs> let Titan be a deck. Odawara. Okay, I'll put it back in my hand. You got it.
Nice start beating Prowess. Yeah, Prowess was definitely a challenge. Hey, what did I say about keeping the Reclamation Sage in my hand? In case they have a Cursed Totem. I knew it. I could sniff it out. The Queen. Hello, hello. Die. Yes. Then we can even do this to play out Hapatra. What do you mean good utility lands, Ben? The, ba the lands in modern aren't good enough for you? Play out the queen here. Go to combat. Just swing with these two. Practice Wasteland, Threshold Lands, Variety. No, okay. Cal All right, calm down, Ben. Don't get too crazy. They can't print those cards in modern. That'd be it would be way too good. Uh, this is fine. Oh, hey. One second. Angel N L L Nico Degon. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Caracas, bro, no, Caracas would be so, so strong. Protecting your legends. There's not that many good, like, effect, wasteland effects. And now, I know you said, oh, just print wasteland, but then that wouldn't, that wouldn't be good because there's running six in the format, right? So, I don't know, dude. Also, I don't know why we're still playing this game. Do you think Dark Deaths would be okay in modern? Uh, probably not. I mean, it's banned for a reason, right? All right, opponent, what are we doing? Why are we still here? <laughs> Just to suffer. Every night I feel my arm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, okay. Uh, Bowmaster. I'll put it on my stake token. What is going on here? Aether Gust, bro. This person really is trying to win. I mean, they're just dead at their upkeep, though. <laughs> I'll put the stake on the. I'll put on the. They're dead at their draw step. I don't know what's happening here, dude. All right, I'll pass turn. Go ahead. Okay, I guess if they draw Tidebinder, exactly right. No. Excuse me? What? Okay, then they surrender. <laughs> Alright, good games. <laughs> Turn the earth, dude. God damn. Do you have any tips for playing against... For playing y'all against you blue eye control? I just played against it twice. I want to stop playing magic. <laughs> Write six legends in my loam list. Damn. Uh, so we're going to be on this game number four. We are on the draw. Uh, 
if this were if this if the other if this wasn't a dried arbor, we could keep this, but I don't think we can keep this one. We gotta throw this one back. Oh god. On the play, you could maybe keep this, but on the draw, I don't think I can keep this. It's just way too slow. Okay. Keep this one, put back cutthroat, put back cauldron. Alright. Uh, I need to put Yogg against blue, I control play it's twice and I stop playing magic. Okay, well, give me the back the cauldron, please. <laughs> um... Yeah, so against blue-white control, your main, your powerhouse cards are Halfling uh, and Grist. Those are like the... the oh, speak of the devil. Um, Grist is like super strong at, at controlling blue-white control. Uh, and just being able to stick an early one and just start like plussing every turn is very hard for them to deal with. Also, Cauldron's pretty good being able to just... Uh, if they just end up like wrapping anything... Okay, goodbye Grist. If they end up wrapping anything, then you could just put it right back under the Cauldron. Shadow Spear or Totec Spear? Totec Spear. They don't... Bro. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Very aggressive opponent. Give me a cauldron to smite this man. No. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have any graveyard hate that cheap. What do they exile? The grief. So I could go. There's nothing I have, right? I could go land. I could go dried arbor and then play wall. And then I have a cord for one, two, three. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Yeah, so they're going to get into track sub. So they, they're going to be able to bounce it potentially too. Oh, it's going to be pretty bad. So, yeah, I think I just have to play here, here, Wall of Roots. They're going to have an Atraxa. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered if we kept the Cauldron anyways because they Fox seized it. Hopefully they don't hit anything. Ooh. Okay, no ephemerate, which is good. They have solitude, another tracks a gristle brand, fable, fable. Interesting. Uh, thought seize. They did hit a swamp, so they are gonna thought seize our cord, which is gonna suck. I can't even cord for zero because I have the dried arbor in my hand. So they choose Fable, Faithful, Thoughtsy, Swamp, Atraxa. Let's go Yield to End Step. Fable, Swamp, Atraxa, Solitude, Not Gristle Brand, Fable, Swamp, Thoughtsies. Yep. Okay, let's see. We, we, need a, we need some help here. Mortuary, help me out. I don't need that. They have no Thoughtsies, they have no Swamp. Okay. Not looking for that either. Get it for the one damage. Hopefully they just play a Fable here. Cool. Alright, give me something good. Please. Thank you very much. So they don't play counter spells. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do have to shock this in if I want Yogmoth. Well, it's not exactly easy because we have to be wary of them spiking a Gorio's Vengeance. Because they could like discard a Traxa, discard something else, and then hit a Gorio's Vengeance, which would suck. Discard Traxa, discard Faithful Mending, sure. Did they hit it? Palaji, okay. That's fine. 
they hit the fa uh, fable, it's fine. So start of combat here, going to cord. What is happening here? Are they solitude ephemerating before I get Yogmoth? That's fine. Sure. Why would you not just wait until I have the Yogmoth? Just deny me cards, I guess? Hmm. Okay. Target here, sacrifice here. Oh my god, bro. Unlucky. Probably dead if they hit another Gorios here. They did not. They did hit a prismatic ending though, which can kill Yogmoth because they have four colors. They have black, blue, white, and then random treasure. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Black, blue. They can't do it now. White, black, blue. Yeah, you need another one more color opponent. Blue, black, white. They're just doing a faithful mending. Another phalogy. Ah, they did not find it. Okay, nice. So you're saying there's a chance. What did the. That's what they do. Damn it. Stop. Uh, okay, another land. We don't, don't need that one. Yep. Okay. And we lose. Unfortunate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, they're, they're just jump scares. Could go... Animator Endurance, Jailer, Reclamation Sage. I guess we don't need the Rex Sage because I don't think they're playing Cursed Totems anymore, so we just do this instead. Ooh. Take out one Wolf, take out one Wall, one Hey, where am I? There we go. No me! <laughs> no me is good. Hey! What are you doing, buddy? Hey, that's pretty good for a multi five, though. That's pretty good. All right, we're gonna be on the play for this one. I see a cauldron. I keep. They also kept seven. A friend of mine has known me for like ten channel points. Nice. <laughs> that's good. Um, interesting. I guess I do want to play around Solitude Ephemerate, so I'm just going to do the Cauldron. I don't want to play out my other Halfling here and go and they go Solitude Ephemerate and wipe me out. Baby, 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 baby. Keep it on top.
Dismatic ending on my halfling. Oh, that's weird that they wouldn't do. I guess they, they can't do it on the. Okay, they couldn't do it on the thing because they don't have an untapped land. I guess. Why you will I be back, baby? Eat that ending. Get a mortuary here. Take a little peek. Um, second chord, huh? I think that's good enough because we're gonna go. Yeah, I think that's okay because we're gonna go halfling this turn. Potentially go bowmasters on their turn. And then our cores will be pretty good. I feel like they have a second prismatic ending if they use the first one so willingly on the halfling. Because if you see a cauldron in play as a Gordios player, you probably want to prioritize getting that, right? So I figure they have a way to get rid of it. Grief is annoying. Um, I guess I'm going to play out the... Like, I play out the Bowmasters. Like, they're going to take... If they have an ephemerate here, they just take double cord, I think. I think I'll let this happen. Because I kind of want to... We'll see what happens. Yep, Bowmaster, sure. Yep, Ephemerate, sure. <laughs> Let's hit something good in the graveyard. Uh, that also stops their that stops their ephemerate next turn as well. We're gonna keep that on top. You will not rebound. Not allowed. Oh my god, dude, you're cringe. <sighs> annoying, 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 annoying. And they have the ending. Okay. They just wanted it more than us. They just wanted it more than us. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out how to get Lara Croft into the main deck. She's sideboard right now. Why would you have her in the sideboard? Isn't she a super, like, build around? Blood Crypt, sure. Uh... Gilded Gussie, love to see it. Playing any Fortnite, Fortnite today? No, sir. I'm not playing any Fortnite today. I'm sorry. Wait. 
My deck she hits Shadow Spear, Krakus, Pesage, and Odawara. Okay. Not bad. They keep it on top. Scary. I shall take the three. Another grief. You got it. Take a look at my hand. I know it's very exciting. Going to eat this. Going to eat Bowmaster. The counter there. Get in with the damage on my halfling. Play a land past the turn. I'll take it. Oh, you don't say. I could put the I could just put the tabernacle side as extra hit and say I'm running tab. This is true. Um, one, two, three. I'm just not gonna block here. Mm, fable. Hmm. Make a food. I think they'll just chump block this. No, interesting. Okay. Okay. They've decided to not attack. That Gilded Goose putting in work. It's that easy, baby. I think it's okay to do this, and then we discard, discard uh, land. One, two, three, four. Done. Hey, oh, goose MVP. Why goose over the one mana ramp? So I'm gonna let me. I'll take this time to explain to you. So, Magu Mone, uh, I run. So I run five mana dorks, right? So, out of the five mana dorks, which one is the most versatile? We have Ignoble Hierarch, we have Birds of Paradise, we have Gilded Goose, right? Now, out of those three, if you were going to play one, in my opinion, I think I would choose Goose. And the reason why I think it's more versatile out of the other two with Cauldron, and because you can put it under a Cauldron, it does gain you life, it has two toughness, which is pretty relevant. Now, it is the worst mana dork to rely on. It's it's definitely the worst one to rely on because you have to make a food and then if you once you use it you have to spend a whole other turn to make another food right so in that aspect it is pretty bad but when was the last time that you had to rely on one mana dork to carry your hand right not that many times right so in my opinion having the goose as a flyer having two toughness and being able to generate food and being put under a cauldron has more uh, relevance than the other two mana dorks so that's why I use that one. I mean, we have a cauldron. 
But then we basically have like five lands. I'm gonna throw it back. Ugh. One lander. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Ah. Go back cord. Yep. Oh. I knew there was a line on top the whole time. I do it. I do the blah 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 blah. She old rip. Okay. Would you like Solus Jailer or would you like Agatha Soul Cauldron? You tell me about it. Soul Cauldron, you got it. What? Ooh! Opponent also kept a one lander. Get in for the one damage. Um, Because they kept a one lander, I'm actually going to play out my Halfling here. No need to play out the Jailer just yet. Cool. Try to hit a land here. It's not a land, but then the graveyard. Well, ha 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 ha. Man, that's really good. I mean, I, I think I just played the regular Grist here. Might have a Solitude of right here. They do. I'm glad that I didn't play out the Cauldron. They pitched a another solitude, cool. Thought I yielded through the turn, I did not. Okay. Deciding if they want to exile my young wolf or not. And they do. They did draw the land. Mill over Agorio's Vengeance. I'm going to start with plussing, and then I'm going to play out the Jailer instead of the Cauldron this turn, I think. I have another Ephemerate? Oh my god, vomit. <laughs>
Balaji, sure. They hit nothing, cool. They draw into a land. Still not hitting too well here. I'm going to play our Cauldron. Uh, since they don't have anything right now and they were missing land drops, I'm going to exile our Grist this turn. Plus here. Mill over two lands. Kind of didn't want that to happen. Oh well. My opponent will not hit land into, into draw spell into Gorios. They will not do that. Getting back Shieldred. That's totally fine with me. They're sending all at Grist. Um, one, two, three, four. I will just block the Shieldred. Cool. Let's start with the plus here. Let's go with the plus here. Let's flash in Bowmasters here to get another plus. Ping them. Always yield. It's plus here. Oh, there we are. So nice. So nice of you. Thank you, game. Counter here. Hey! Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Hey, get your Solitude Ephemerate. Hey, a Solitude Ephemerate. Ah. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I don't want to see it. Very nice. Alrighty. Final game here. One die roll. Just first. Boom. Yes, always. What do we got? Turn two Grist. I'm going to keep it. Opponent's mulling to six. Play out forest. Go for halfling. Pass it back. What are we up against? Swamp. Fatal push. Okay. Could be scam. Could be a lot of things. Uh, I'm just going to play the cauldron this turn. I don't think playing Bowmaster is all that important. Lovely, lovely choice of basics. Very nice. Profane Tutor. Ooh, okay. Oh, another Grist. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. Court of Calling. Kind of wanted that. We'll pass turn here. Spend. Could be a Gorio's deck of some kind. They keep it on top. One, two. Okay, they changed their mind. I will also not do anything. I feel like that's a Bowmasters. Another Halfling. We're going to start off with a plus here. Young Wolf, okay. Let's go to combat. We're getting there for the one. We'll play out the Halfling and we'll play out the Tap Land. I could also Legend Rule the Grist here, but I think. I'm thinking they're some sort of reanimator deck, and I want to be reactive to what they do. Don't want to be activating the cauldron all willy-nilly, if you know what I'm saying. Profane Tutor, yep. Get any card in your deck, it's pretty good. Okay. The One Ring. Okay, I'll respond. Leviathan MTG. No, I missed the whole stream. Oh, well, you're here now. Hey, we're still in, we're in game number five. You get to watch this last game here. Play for the trophy. Trophy number eight. We're against some black-white deck. Don't know exactly what we're up against. Could be uh, some Pox deck because they have Flagstones of Trakir. Not going to exile anything out of my graveyard just yet. Oh, 
Well, I mean, I like that one. That's the turn here. Well, at least I can be able to watch the replay. Yes, sir. Hey, okay. Wrap it up. I don't know what we're up. I don't know what, what we're up against, but wrap it up. <laughs> so we only saw Profane Tutor and we saw the One Ring. So not much to go off here. So I can assume that they might be some sto sort of Stoneforge deck. They could be... Oh! Tucci! Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Um, Could be some Stoneforge deck. They ha We did see Flagstones of Takir, so I see that. And I think immediately that they're playing like Pox. Small Pox. Because th that's usually the only deck that plays that. Hey. So... Maybe I just bring in to pick your poison and hope be like, mm, I don't know. I think we, we try that. Take out a wall of roots. Take out a gilded goose. Go from there. Reevaluate after game two. You baby. You baby. You are baby. And it's okay, we're gonna keep it. Urborg into nothing. Probably holding up a fatal push here. Another land here is good. Play out the halfling. Goodbye, halfling. You served us well, halfling. Probably. Oh, they got the nut. Do they have the pox? Do they have the pox? I feel like they have the pox. Ooh, Thoughtseize. Okay. Would you like scavenging ooze? Would you like bowmasters? Would you like court of calling? It's all up to you, opponent. The choice is yours. Follow your nose for the fruity taste that shows. Court of calling. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. I will play. Stringle Root Geist, as it plays around removal, the best. Get in there for the two damage. Take two. One, two, buckle my shoe. Cabal Coffers. Ooh, did not see that card. Coffers, blue, a uh, black, white coffer. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, this changes things. Interesting. I guess I want to flash in the Bowmasters here to take out the Sorin. One, two. Dothy Voidwalker, sure. Wait, doesn't that... Doesn't Dothy Voidwalker turn off Bane Ripper? Am I wrong? How much damage is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is gonna be seven. And then I'll turn or alternatively next. So it's gonna be six, they go to nine, and then next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, I do this now. And then if they attack, then they're just dead if they don't have anything. Yeah, good call opponent.
Could have left the fetch up to get Dryad. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I kind of forgot that it was a fetch because I was just tapping it for mana. Oh! Oh! Well, uh, opponent, please sacrifice a creature with flying. Please and thank you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's not lethal. What's it like to demonic to the best possible to the top? Oh, brief mania. That's just another day in the office for me. Okay. <laughs> Opponent says, oh, let's see. What a rip. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Damn on the four. Hey, give me that trophy, baby. Come on. When I'm playing for the 5 0, I don't play around. I don't tussle. Okay. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wrap it on up. Number eight. Number eight. So good. What a ripper. Yep. Yeah. Rip that. Pick your poison off the top. Uh, I would like to pick your poison for you. Uh, sack a creature with flying. Please and thank you. <laughs> anyway. Uh, why don't like ignoble? Oh boy. You should have been here like five minutes ago when I explained. So, read mania. Let me explain again. Uh, what is this? That is the wrong Yawgmoth list. The, hey, don't you apologize. Don't you apologize. It's not your bad. I'm very happy to explain it again. So, I only play five mana dorks. So we play the four delighted halfling and we play the one other one, right? So, out of the three other ones we could play, Birds of Paradise, Ignoble Hierarch, and Gilded Goose, which one is the most versatile? In my opinion, the most versatile one is Gilded Goose because it generates food, you can throw it under a cauldron, and it has two toughness, right? So, I like... I like it for that, and now that's not to say it's the best, right? Because it is the worst mana dork when you're relying on it for mana. Like when it's your only, if you're trying to rely on it for mana, you have to tap it once, you have to wait a whole turn, right? And then you undo it again, right? So it's, it's the worst for that, definitely. But when was the last time you had to rely on one mana dork to carry your hand, right? Almost never. You almost never keep hands like that anyways, right? It's, it's really risky, usually really bad. So in my opinion, I like playing the goose... Uh, over the other two because I think it has the more it has more play in the other in the other areas that I described. Also, I do I do agree with you. The ignoble is very nice, right? I do like the exalted Ida noble, but with it being only a one of like when how often are you really getting exalted? And then how, also how often does it actually matter that you're getting exalted in that moment, right? Now, if there was two, if I was playing two of these of the bonus dorks. Then I would probably play Ignoble. But because I'm only playing one, I think Gilded Goose is just the best out of the out of the three, if we're talking about a one of. So that's my little spiel on why I like Goose. And hey, Goose actually saved us in a game before we, we were playing versus um what was it? We we're playing versus Gorios and they were beating us down, and I was just gaining the life with the goose. Drawn off the top. We were both drawn off the top, and I was just gaining the life. It was so good. Very nice. You see a lot of matchups where Haywire is good game one that you played over a six door? Yes, 100% of the time. Let me show you. So we have Domain Soup with Guild Pact, Leyline Binding. We have Racto Scam with sometimes main, main deck Blood Moon, and they also have Fable the Mirror Breaker. That's not the best example, right? You don't need it there, but that's just another example of targets that it can hit. Indomitable Creativity. Uh, it hits their Leyline Bindings, also their Fables, also their Treasure Tokens, if they try to target those when they're going for a Creativity. Uh, Gorio's Vengeance. Nothing. Uh, Amulet Titan, it hits their it hits their uh, their Sagas, it hits their Amulets, both very important pieces of the combo. Model Green Tron, it hits 
if you're lucky, which I, this has happened before, if you're on the play and they go turn one map and you have a Haywire Might in your hand, you can get the map. And maybe that maybe they kept the hand on the strength of the map and you get them that way. Uh, Mono Black Scam, like any one ring deck, right? Coffers with the one ring. Uh, what else? Four to five color Omnath, they play Leyline Bindings. Uh, Domain Footballs, they play Leyline Bindings. I There's a lot of parts where... There's a lot of there's a lot of matchups where I'm very happy that I have the one Haywire Might in the main board. I was thinking anyone ever tried Utopia Sprawl. It's not creature which sucks, but it's acceleration. Um that's the issue, right? It's like Utopia Sprawl is I feel like in in practice it's good, but um better not in practice. In like theory it's good, but in practice it's not because it's it's acceleration, yes, but it's not a creature. And you want your acceleration to be a creature because you can you know, draw out, you can draw more cards with Yawgmoth. I couldn't load up MTG on Red for Magic it's kept crashing for me. Oh, man. What were the other four matches you played that league? Just caught the last one versus the Spike Brew. The last, the other four were, uh, it was Yawg, Game 1, then Prowess, then Merfolk, then Gorios, and then the Coffers deck at the end there. Oh, did you say something? Oh, tick me. I didn't see your message. Anyone else? MTGO slows crap right now. Yeah, mine. Mine was. Mine was being slow during the whole time. Merfolk backwards go too. Yes, sir. That's a good one. But yeah, nice five zero for the stream today. I do. I gotta get going now. But I want to thank everyone. Thank, thank you all for coming by. Thank you for all the like, comments, subs, and follows. I appreciate all you guys. Today is Tuesday, so that means I will probably be back tomorrow. Apparently. Do you like Grist versus Amulet? I do. So I used to cut Grist versus Amulet. I used to go to like one Grist, but because they're playing, uh, because they're playing Yasharn more, uh, I like having more Grists in. So I think I leave like two to three Grists in now versus Amulet. Uh, so, but anyways, tomorrow is Wednesday, so I should be back tomorrow. And then apparently on Thursday there's a a new challenge that they added, like a weekly challenge. Let me see. MTGO schedule. Yeah. So apparently on Thursday there is a modern challenge at 5 p.m. I could try to do that. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it on time because you know I have to, I have work that I have to deal with. I, I don't know if I'm I'm gonna be busy that day, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. So that could be fun to do. A little mini challenge on Thursday. Oh yeah. I want to thank everyone for coming by again. Thank you guys again for the stream, and I will see you. Next time I see you. All right.